great hair day. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Maris, and in today's video we are going to be trying the new Dyson Perel hair straightener. I purchased this baby right here and it arrived yesterday, so I can't wait to go ahead and try it out and see how it works. So I have seen a couple of review videos on this product, but the majority of the girls using the product already have straight hair. So I wanted to see how it works on someone with curly hair, especially since um, you have a curly girl on the front of the packaging. You see? Curly to straight. So I, I really wanted to put this to the test and see how it works for my hair. I washed my hair last night and I let it air dry. And this is what it looks like with absolutely no product. It's just beautiful and frizzy and just... Yeah, we have to fix this hair. So I haven't added heat to my hair since last November. So it's been over a year since I've added any heat to my hair. So we're going to go ahead and try this out. So this product is supposed to straighten your hair with minimal heat damage. It has some sort of um, plate technology that is supposed to straighten your hair and keep the heat in the center of the plates. I did charge this to 100% battery. It is recommended that you charge it fully before you use it. And and after charging it, you should get about 30 minutes of use time, which is not enough to flat iron all of this hair. So I may have to charge it midway through to 100% again, which took me about 40 minutes to an hour to charge fully. Um, so that's the only bummer. I'm not sure if I can use it while having it plugged in. Um, so I could try that. If not, we're going to have to stop midway, charge it again, and get to it. So I think that's the only downside for now from reading all of the information online that I found is that um, the battery only does last about 30 minutes before you have to recharge it. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. I haven't turned this on yet. It's pretty cool because it also has this little feature right here, which disconnects the battery so that you can take this with you as your carry-on item when you're traveling. This is $500, so it's definitely something that you would want to carry with you in the plane and not put it underneath as a check-in bag because it is so pricey, you don't want it to get damaged. Okay, so enough chit-chatting, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I did detangle my hair last night, but my hair gets matted and tangled really easily. I added a little bit of heat protectant in my hair. Let's go ahead and take this side and just put it away. All right, so let's go ahead and turn it on. She is fully charged. All right, so after I turned it on, I went ahead and just hit the plus sign, and the highest heat setting that this offers is 410 degrees, which is what I will be using. Anything less than that really won't work on my hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it heat up. It has the little blinking sign, and as soon as it's done heating up, it does let you know that it has reached that temperature. That was really fast like it reached the f it reached the correct temperature in like five seconds okay so i'm super excited to see how this works i'm gonna start with a piece up here in the front so we can really see let's go ahead and brush it out i got a little bit more than an inch of hair should i make it thinner let's go ahead and make it thinner let's see how this works on frizzy ass curly hair okay Let me zoom you guys in. Okay. Oh my goodness. Wow. That was fast. Look at that. That was one swipe. That was amazing, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm shocked. <laughs> that looks really good. That was so fast. I'm just shocked that it gave me this much of a straightness with just one swipe. Let's go ahead and just do the whole front side of my hair. So we're gonna work front to back. I usually start from the back, but I'm gonna work front to back. Let's put this away. Let's brush off all of the tangles. I 
I mean, I'm just surprised that it's giving me these type of results off just one swipe through. That's pretty amazing. Wow. Okay. Let's just keep it going. You know what? I'm going to time myself and see how long it takes me to do my entire head or see how long it really does take for that battery to drain. So I'm going to go ahead and just start my stopwatch. Let's get going. sure if we have the option to plug it in and use it while it's plugged in I will try that but I don't think it works that way of my hair I am very very impressed as to how fast this worked and how well it worked how straight it got my hair just off one pass look how shiny it is It just beeped the battery is low and it has been 20 minutes and this is the percentage of the battery I'm assuming that's about 10% left and I'm still not done with half of my hair so that's a bummer okay so I grabbed the charger which is like a magnetic charger which is pretty cool let's go ahead and put it in there it gave me a little check mark and it shows that it's charging so I'm going to go ahead and continue to do my hair with the cord. If anything happens, I'll let you guys know if it shuts off or anything. Okay, so I have this little bit of hair to go and I have been using it with the cord plugged in and it has been working awesome. I haven't had any issues. It is currently charging as I'm using it and it's working perfectly fine. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up this little piece and I will be right back. Okay, so here are my results and it took me about 45 minutes to finish all of my hair and I really do like this 
little uh, situation. I was able to finish off my hair by having it plugged in and it worked perfectly fine. Let me go ahead and just shut it off real quick. So I did shut off the heat, but it's still currently charging. So I was able to fully finish off my hair with the power cord attached because after about 25 minutes, it did warn me that the battery was getting low. So these are the results. I really do like it. Now this does retail for $500, which is a lot of money. Um, Dyson is known to be on the higher end side and they're also known to create hair products that won't damage your hair. So if you're someone who, I mean, if you're a stylist and you you do hair for a living this is definitely worth it if you are someone who doesn't really add a lot of heat to your hair I don't see why spending $500 on a flat iron will be for you I mainly purchased it because I wanted to show you guys how it worked I really do like the way it worked I was able to get nice straight hair on one pass and I didn't feel any tugging or pulling on my hair like I do with the other flat irons that I have used in the past this is definitely the best flat iron that I have ever used on my curly, thick, frizzy ass hair. It worked great. Like it really did work great. I did have to stop a few times. I really do think that I could get my entire set of hair done in less than between 30 and 40 minutes. I think I can make it happen. That's how good this product is. So yeah, these are my results. What do you guys think? Do you think that it's worth the $500? Is this something that you guys are looking into purchasing yourselves and investing in? Give me your thoughts. I really want to know. That is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.